A former animal rescue president is found not guilty on charges she killed five dogs in her care. But Heidi Luters was convicted of criminal damage to property for destroying the Fairfield home that she was renting at the time. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter was there, as we said, as that verdict was read. Marissa, that courtroom was packed. Yeah, Della, about 30 animal advocates were there, and as they heard those words not guilty, you saw a lot of tears and a lot of heads in hands. There was a sense of disbelief and defeat. But the judge said even though the evidence was gruesome, he had to rule on facts, not feelings. The court finds that the state has not proved beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant maliciously and intentionally killed the dogs and finds the defendant not guilty. No visible reaction from Heidi Luters as she was acquitted of allegations she deprived five dogs of food and water resulting in their deaths. But for the dozens of animal advocates in the courtroom, an emotional response. We were devastated. We have been to every single court date, every single court date over three years. Fairfield police discovered the remains of five dogs in the home Looters was renting in November 2018. She was the president of Bully Breed Rescue at the time. Pictures from police showed the dead dogs were locked in crates decomposed to just bones. As emotional and jarring as the facts and photos are, the verdict must not be based on emotion. The trier of fact or fact finder must put emotion aside and decide the guilt or non-guilt based on the evidence or the lack of evidence. Looters was tried before Judge Peter McShane after she opted out of a jury trial. In rendering his verdict, McShane pointed to the testimony of a veterinary pathologist who said he couldn't determine cause of death from the autopsies because only bones remained. But Dr. Herbert Van Krunigen told the court he believed the dogs were starved and dehydrated to death after looking at vet records and the case history. The History says dogs possibly died from lack of food and water. Proof beyond a reasonable doubt does not deal with possibilities. Luter's attorney reacted to the verdict, telling us his client hopes to put this awful situation behind her. This was an unfortunate situation all the way around, um, and I think everybody that was involved would rather that this had never happened. There was also a lot of anger following this verdict. I did see one animal advocate yell at Heidi Luters as she got into her car, telling her, Heidi, we will not let this go. Luters returns here on April 6th for sentencing. She's facing up to five years in prison. In Bridgeport, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.